We work with people with mental health and learning disability problems who in essence historically have been treated as less than human and I think by taking a human rights based approach we're very much saying that people have got the right to be at the table as equal citizens. In their dementia services, Mersey Care take a person-centred approach in which the rights of dignity and respect are the norm. Historically, people with dementia have not been um, treated in an ethical way, really. There are some practices which, if we shone a human rights uh, lens onto them, we'd maybe think of things in a different way. The human rights-based approach that we use takes the form of an individual approach that looks at them as an, an individual and their life story and we try and tailor their needs and our, our delivery of care to them as an individual. It is about us delivering the care for that one person. They just knew about her, even though she couldn't tell them. They knew what she'd done in her life when she lost my dad and how many years ago and where she worked. You know, things like that, but they, like, they knew it like his second family. So we have an integral garden which allows somebody the freedom to be able to go outside but still be safe because they can't wander away and become at risk. And sometimes it's the smallest things that make the biggest difference. The right to family life is promoted throughout the Trust. Every single hospital site now has a family room and the team are constantly looking for ways to enhance and improve the experience for service users, carers and their families. Before family rooms, the only option was you had to go onto a busy ward and see lots of people who were also very unwell. Or the alternative was not to have the opportunity to see either your parents or that member of your family that you desperately did want to see. It's all in the name, isn't it? It's a family room. And when you're at home, sometimes your living room's called your family room. So it was just like being at home. It was dead, dead nice. I really liked it. As part of the Right to Family Life, Mersey Care have introduced a resource to explain to very young children why their family member is in hospital. Children don't really see things in abstract terms and quite often within services we explain things in abstract terms, they can't visualise it. The book allows us um, a very visual aid in which to, to support our practitioners in which to do that. It's really important that we think differently as public organisations about how we work to support people's right to a family life. Mersey Care's human rights based approach is key when working with people with learning disabilities. It gives people, like Carol, real opportunities to live in and be a part of the community. Carol's journey with our service I think really started when we were trying to move people out of very restrictive placements into communities and into their own tenancies, so back, kind of bringing people back home. But I used to be in a bad places before. I was the only one female, female there. And it wasn't very nice for me. I couldn't do anything in my life. Now I'm doing much things for myself. My stuff just to make sure I'm getting my education, a little encouragement to do things around the house. Makes me feel better. Makes me feel better. Because I'm, I know I can be better. I, I can be better than anything. It's about thinking about what that person's got to offer back to their community, not just viewing them as somebody who takes from that community. Carol's experience has certainly changed an awful lot. And I think some of the assumptions that people make about her learning disability have really been challenged. I've really, really learned from working with her. I think we've moved on over the last two years from being an organisation that takes a human rights based approach to involving service users and carers to becoming a human rights organisation whereby human rights runs throughout the culture of the whole organisation. If other people are making decisions for you, you don't own those decisions and your commitment to them isn't going to be as strong as it would be if, as if you've been part of that decision making process.